Well, my Christmas tree only used about 3.6 units. It's sitting now at 40. No, uh, nearly 46, 45.9. Okay, this is my rough Westy style setup test uh, rig. Um, pretty rough photo style. Um, I'm testing some capsules for um, Kurt. Got some sodiums, 150, 250, and 100 watt bulbs. Testing photo cells at the same time. So this is uh, normal sodium pressure. That's uh, got an uh, ballast for my fluorescent device and that's a standard B triple two four so we're gonna test these devices shortly. Now we'll plug it in see what happens. Oh, lamp striking the load is uh, 18 amps fuck that's a bit high. Oh no 1.8 kilowatt that shouldn't be that high. No, it's not 180 watts, sorry. That's coming on nicely, that is good, good sign. And warm up properly. I'd like to do a durability test on the devices. I still prefer sodium light over uh, the white LED lights, uh, sodium got a lot more character. Plus, the human eye is, appears to be more sensitive to orange amber light as well. Um, yeah. Let's strike. I'll have a close look at the meters at the moment. Oh, that's better. I just had to put a towel over the camera to get a good reading of the meter. So the loading is about 187 watts, 235 volts, just over one ampere, because of the low power factor. My integrating watt meter, the old CF6 with uh, three decimals is uh, happily spinning around at uh, just over one ampere. This is well within its capacity. Can't beat electromechanical disactivity on electricity meters. Also, if you want to see some more metering activities, uh, have a look on Wayne's channel. And he got another channel that's called Wayne's Electrical. And he got some real nice high definition videos on there for meters. And he talks about the meters, electromechanical meters. He's like a collector like me, but he lives in the UK. And uh, yeah, he got quite a nice collection of meters as well. So just have a look on his channel, Wayne Electrical, and I'll put a link in this particular video. Well, the lamps appear to be happy. That's a 150. That's a 100 capsule. And then in the B2224, we got an. Uh, 70 I think, 70 or 50 maybe, let's take the hood off. You will see an interlacing line because it's the main frequency versus camera capture rate. So yeah, I got a photo cell on here, actually this photo cell on one of the key works that you've switched off. This is a Zodian, uh, yeah. It's connected to this connector strip. I may swap it over with another photo cell. That should have actually switched the lights off. Well, the load has gone up a bit. It's 251 watts at the moment. 1.16 ampere. Must be the bulbs have got warm or something. Yeah, the readings have gone up a tiny bit, but that's fine. Okay, got the hood of the capsule I'm going to unplug. Safety first. De energized devices. I'm going to swap the photo cell. And I've got my dobs, uh, if that cell is working, so it's sitting here. I'm going to put another sodium in here, so let's have a look, it's unplugged, so the physical gap. Okay, initially they should come uh, on briefly, so I'll turn this switch on here, and then I'll plug the main plug in, see what happens. Let's go on and it should switch off. There we go, that worked. So the other photo cell was faulty. That's alright, we can blow that one up. So this device is uh, faulty. I'll put it aside. Okay, we're gonna do the on test on the device. I'm gonna cover the light cell off, towel over it, and uh, 
I think there's a time lag of about maybe 30 seconds I guess we'll see what happens so I'm gonna test the photocells and at the same time I'll test the sodium capsules and just uh, talk about bits and pieces as we go hopefully the wind noise is not gonna be too bad because there's a bit of uh, breeze sea breeze it's 27 degrees here in Auckland Celsius which equates to about 77, maybe about 80 Fahrenheit, I think, for the American viewers. Hope the light cell is dark enough, because it's a uh, shooter was pond. Let's have a look, there might be false light coming in there. Let's close it off a bit better. Flaming wind. I like wind when I'm chasing storms, but not. Uh, when I'm making videos. Oh, there we go. The photo cell has activated the devices. Have we struck? They were still warm, so the capsules are pretty bright already. They're nice orangey yellow. So you can zoom in a bit. Just enjoy the yellow ambience of the device. And I'm gonna take the cover back of the photo cell and let it switch off again. Photo cell opened up. We'll count down three, two. One, switch off, not yet, but we'll have a hysteresis uh, cycle in there, we'll switch off shortly. Capsules have time to restrike, it's normally the test mode when you swap a photo cell into a socket, uh, the lights come on, there we go, the lights are off, de energized capsules. Sodium looks so good. I love the color of sodium. Color is brilliant even on daylight. It's just fantastic. Energization of the CF6. Click, you hear the click. Just making a click. 150 watts. Now we're going to strike a metal hair light, see how it goes. Make him give nice colors. That activation is a bit blue in there now. That's a cool color. Blue green. A few minutes. Let it warm up nicely. Mercury is evaporating slowly. Hopefully the wind is not going to be too painful. camera picks the colors up nicely because it looks really cool. Oh, intensity is quite powerful on the lamp. Can't beat the B triple two four. Although I prefer the orange light in it.
Beautiful color.